So you've downloaded your NVIDIA Maxine, you've got your Gaze Redirect software on your computer, it's running, it looks really good, but you don't know how to put it into that Zoom meeting that you're about to go into. Well, today I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to get that onto your OBS and then into Zoom or Google Teams or Restream or anything else that you want to use this in. Let's get into it. So as you can see up above me here, I have both of my heads running on the Gaze Redirect. doesn't matter if you have one or two, we're going to go down and we're going to crop these once we get into OBS. But before we go and start doing anything, you need to go over to obsproject.com and download OBS. So I'm going to put that link in the description below. So this is what the site will look like. You're going to choose what you run it on. Obviously, you are not on Mac because it does not work on Mac, just to reiterate that point. So I'm saying most of you will be on Windows. All you need to do is click Windows. Once you click that, as you can see down the bottom here, it has started downloading. I don't want it, so I'm going to cancel it, but it'll download and it'll just go through to the installer. Literally just click next, 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 yes, 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 and away you go. OBS will be installed. So once OBS is downloaded, you're going to go and open that up and the page is going to open exactly as I got here, except down in the scenes, you're going to have nothing. It is just going to be blank. It'll just say scene. So I've got a new scene down the bottom here. I've got no sources, which is the same as you. I'm going to go down the bottom and press this plus at the bottom. We're going to go up to Window Capture and click on Window Capture. We're going to create new. Obviously, I've got existing, but you'll just this will be on your first one. Create new. And then Window. Click on the Gaze Redirect app. Boom. It comes up with your two heads. Everything else here, leave the same and click OK. We click and drag and make this bigger. As you can see, it is exactly what's coming through my gaze redirect if I bring that up as you can see it is exactly the same as what we've got there also one little thing if you minimize gaze redirect as you can see your face just freezes you need to have it open on the screen so just click on something else to put it at the back or put it away out of the out of the scene so once you're here you need to crop down the sides and the easiest way to crop if you hold alt and get on one of the squares and pull in done easy that's the easiest way that you can crop and then obviously you've got this redirected output at the top so we need to crop the top as well try and keep it as big as possible so I'd just come to the side and the side and then hook to a corner and make as big as possible obviously my camera's barely zoomed in you need to Make your camera as wide as possible if you can. I might even go and do that now so I can show you that too. As you can see here, I've zoomed back out on my webcam and you can see my whole body. Yours should probably be a little bit more like this. Or you can set it up however you want. So whatever's in this rectangle right here, OBS is going to send to your other software and that's what the others are going to see. If you want to overlay like I have in my intro and my outro, then you're going to have to set up another image overlaying this. And then on top of that, you may have an image behind you and you add that with the sources down here. You click on the plus and then add image. If you want to know how to build a scene a little bit more, let me know in the comments and I may go into that a little bit further. So if you're watching this and you really want to get this on the computer, I'll give you a quick FYI. You need to have an NVIDIA 203040 or Titan series GPU. In the description down below, I've linked my GPU that I use and also the cheapest GPU that is compatible with this software. They're both linked down below and take you straight to Amazon where you can purchase and it gets delivered straight to your door. But anyway, we'll move on and we'll go, how did we get this into Zoom? Okay, it's pretty simple. It is actually really simple. Come down the bottom here and click Start Virtual Camera. Okay, that's it. All right, so you, your virtual camera has started. It You'll know it has started because it will now say Stop Virtual Camera. So if you click it again, that will stop the virtual camera from running. Okay, so once you've done that, you need to go over to your Zoom meeting. So once you're in Zoom, it will come up like this. Even if you have your video usually come up, it will not come up. If your webcam is being used with other software, it cannot be used twice on your computer. So that's why we need to use the OBS virtual camera. So if you go down the bottom here and click on the arrow up, it will usually be on your default one, which mine is the Logitech Brio. NVIDIA Broadcast, that's another app that uses the same technology. If you need to know about that, I have a video that I also have about that. I'll link that up above. But then we want to go to OBS Virtual Camera. That is a camera we just turned on through OBS. We click on that and we click Start Video. Boom. There's everything that I put in my scene. I know it's only me because that's all I've put in the scene. If you go into a meeting, that's how it will come up. And as you can see, my eyes are at you the whole time. 
If you wanted to add anything else, like you can blur your background. As you can see, Zoom doesn't do the best job if you have higgledy piggledy all through the background, but you can still do all those extra things that you wanted to do within Zoom whilst using Gaze Redirect. It is amazing software. It works really well. And as you can see, my eyes are looking at you pretty much all the time. If this has helped you, let me know in the comments. If there's anything else that you would like to learn about NVIDIA Maxine or any other software, let me know and I can do some videos for you. If you want to learn any more tutorials with me, I'd advise you to watch that video right there because that's the one that YouTube has chosen the best fit for you.